Welcome to Drink of Thrones, the show where we discuss everything Thrones. And of course, we drink while doing it. My name is Louie, and I'm here with... Jasmine. All right, Jasmine, before we get into Episode 7 review, Driftmark, uh, as promised, this is a drinking game, excuse me, drinking show, we will play a game. Uh, and today we're drinking a Hazy, it's a variety pack, it's a Firestone um, variety pack, and I we're not going to lie to you guys, there was some... It one was just okay. okay. And one was particularly bad. Yeah. But we won't get into that. Uh, but. Mine was already open. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So straight to it. We're going to play the game uh, that you might be familiar with called. Who said that? Now, this should be easy. We just watched the show. I don't think last week I was a little drunk, and I don't know if I'm at that level. I don't want to be a little. Sir Mumble Lut, um, <laughs> but these should be easy. Even I thought they were easy. So if you get all of them right, I'll, I feel like I have to take both shots because it's that, it's that easy. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Who said that? And you'll have... Three seconds this time. Three seconds. Yes. Okay. Who said that? And I'll count down. History does not remember blood. It remembers name. Names. <laughs> Did you? I guess okay. I'm a little drunk. I know. I was going to say. Okay. Uh... I was covering the yes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Corliss. That's correct. Okay. All right. Cool. Question number two. We were happy enough. Three. Uh, two. Damon. Good job. Question number three. Fuck. You don't remember. No, that was the quote. And I knew this is, might be the one that gets you. Three. Two. One. <laughs> Eamon. When he sees uh when he sees Vagar, he goes, Fuck. Oh, he does? Yeah. I he didn't sees- even notice. He's so annoying now, I like can't stand him. We'll get to that. Don't care if he's a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fire is a prison. Three. Oh, Rhaenyra. Good job. Woo! Okay, so that's one, two, three, four right, one wrong. Okay. Uh, I understand Sir Harwin was quite devoted to you. Oh, that's Damon. Good as job. Well. Everybody, everybody knows. Just look at them. Three. Oh, fucking two. Damon. One. Aegon. Go- oh, Ooh, I was I'm real close. I was I'm going to count it. Um, but yes, I, I, was, I think she means uh, okay, cool. Aegon. Okay, last one. Just for shits and giggles here. We've always meant to burn together. Who said that? Oh, Rhaenyra. Good job. Nice. Yeah, those okay. were all easy. If you didn't get them, you probably fell asleep during the show. Yeah, you probably weren't watching this no. episode. And I... And I the fuck one, I thought it was going to be... Yeah. I knew that one was going to get... Because, it, you know, that could have been anybody. Yeah. But I, it was such a... To me, it made me laugh. I just didn't catch it. No, I, he's a season. And it, it's kind of like... I I felt like that. that's what I would say. Again, we'll get into that. But, like, he was just so annoying to me this episode yeah. that... um. I just I just can't stand him. So let's go ahead and... Let's just take our shots, man. Let's take the shot. Let's yeah. take the shot. I'm green today for whatever reason. You're, I, I don't you're like it. I you're mostly green, but... You mean in life? If I were a Targaryen and you were a Targaryen, you'd think you would be black and I'd be green? Um, I don't know. I I kind of feel like you'd be Kristen or something. I would be Kristen? I, look, I don't no know why. Gut feeling. Yeah. Maybe it's a little hair swoop. I don't know. No, I don't... <laughs> Okay, so so we're I I'm Kristen in this in this story. I just have a feeling you'd be Kristen like. Mm, okay, okay. If if you were. A oh gosh, who are you gonna give me? Let's do the let's do. And the don't do it out of spite because I said Kristen, the most hated character in Westeros. He's also, and by the way, I am not this. Super hot. Yeah, but to some. But that's not why you you name me Kristen. It's because you hate him. No, I went off of gut feeling. I'm it's not. It's okay. Associating him per uh, se. You would be you would be Laris. That's a what? spite pick. 
I think he's very smart. No, that's a spite pick no. for sure. I'm going on IQ only. My feet work perfectly fine. Mm. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was fine. I was spite. about to expose you. Yeah. I was about yeah. to expose you. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I'm sure it wasn't going to be nice. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So the first shot, it was such an epic shot. Real quick. Our it was that one. Real. Uh, yeah, that was. it was so quick. Yeah. Are our levels okay? Okay. I think so. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I felt like we're really loud and not. But anyways, I think I think we sound a little better. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's get into the episode. Yeah. Right. Shots done. Questions were answered. Mm -hmm. Now we start off, and right off the bat, we're at Lena's funeral. Mm -hmm. Right. Everyone's there. Everyone. And people that we haven't technically seen in 10 years, right? They weren't. We didn't see them in the first episode. So. Also, most importantly, people they, that haven't seen each other in 10 years, right? So, yeah. And we get, to, we get to see their interaction after so many years. Um, and one of the biggest ones is it's Viserys with his brother, Damon. And you can tell that they miss each other. And the king... Kind of like I don't know if it. You think he senses his death or his health just declining dramatically? That he's just over this whole well fight with his brother. If you think about the last episode, the way I mean, the way Viserys is it, the way it ended was that Viserys was crying into Ama's ring, right? Because he misses her. So I think he really miss, misses like having a family and being connectedness. Even back then, you know, like Damon was at the, in the court with him, right? Yeah. He was part of the council and stuff. So now there's a complete separation. He hasn't seen him in years. He doesn't feel like there's any unity. And I think he longs for that. And I think that's why he clings to Rhaenyra so much. Yeah. Doesn't care if their kids are hers or not. He just wants the family to be united. But that's obviously not the route that no. that everyone's going right yeah the story's gonna take a, a big yeah uh, um anyways yeah it's sad but damon doesn't admit it but even his his late wife now who said it in the previous episode you know that he misses you know you're mr brother you know yeah i mean and he's, he doesn't say it like that but he yeah it's obvious that he does and maybe he misses his home too um and now He's trying to put up this front that, like, I'm in Pentos now. Uh, what would you call Pentos. somebody? I'm in Pent uh, Pentosi. Pentoshi. Yeah, I don't know if it's I, either uh, of those two. I, but <laughs> he's from Pentos. <laughs> yeah. and, and he's really not. Well, right? he's, he's yeah, his family grew up in Pentos. He's using as an argument, right? Yeah. That's his home now. That's my home now. And... Um, But, yeah, he's obviously putting up a front in true Damon fashion. Mm -hmm. Um, But... Yeah, we see a couple of interesting interactions. I mean, people are more than talking to each other. You get you get a lot of glances from across the room, right? You get Laris staring at Allison like, ooh, you know. Just being a creep. Yeah, just being a creep like, ooh. Yeah, I did that you're shit. You're going to need me. Look what we yeah. did to get. Like, mm -hmm. feeling like they have some kind of connection that's weird. Yeah. And then you have uh, Rhaenyra trying to catch Damon's eye. Yes, and then you have uh, Kristen Cole and... Allison looking at Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra looking Kristen at Kristen A-hole. Yeah. Am I right, lady? And uh, which one else stood out? Um, Otto and Damon stood out. Well, the fact that Otto was there with his hand, with the hand cl Again. clasp on his uh, Who would on you his name breast. your hand if you were Viserys? Um, out of everyone that's there now, there's not a lot of good uh, core lists, maybe. Interesting. Well, because now he has a vested interest, right? Like his kids, Rhaenyra's kids are related to him. Lenor is like first lady. I well, mean, yeah, but he's up until this point. I mean, he's acting a fool, whether whatever, you know, that we get into that later. But Corliss and and um, Rhaenys have a conversation. Look, about if it. you're going to if you're going to pull something like that off, you have to find a lover that looks like your like your, your gay husband. Well, he, that's just that's just the, how it is. Dude. They should have turkey basted, figured it I out. I don't know. Like, I'm sure Morgan Freeman could have been available. Something. Sh come on. You thought he was you free, can't... man. <laughs> we. 
try harder, Rainier. She Ooh. picked somebody so opposite. What did she think was going to happen? Well, she almost boned her uncle. Like, she was definitely reckless then, is all well, I'm saying. <sighs> I don't think she cared that much. Here's the thing. The hair. <laughs> her hair is platinum. Yeah. So is Lenor's. Their kids... Not so much, right? Not even a little. Obviously, they didn't so, know how they were going to turn uh, Yeah, but out. in this type of situation, like, they could lose their lives. Well, they definitely fucked up, right? But it could have been come out the opposite. I mean, you have a... You have Allison, who's red hair. None of her kids have red hair. True. Is she the mom? Well, they say it's a recessive gene or something. But, yeah. but in either case, she doesn't know. Yeah, well, that, that, that shot was cool, but another cool one that we saw was one by the fire between Corliss and Rhaenys. And yep. in that one, we can we see that the, you know, Rhaenys is telling them, like, she's trying to blame Damon for um, Lena's death. And I don't, I, I, even I don't think that's necessarily accurate, right? I don't think it's... Yeah. And Corliss wasn't buying it either. Like, you you know, I think she was just sad she hadn't seen her daughter in years. And, I mean, we all know that she, she, uh, Lena did want to go back. And it was because of Damon that she stayed far for so long. Well, yes. That part's true. But the death part, I don't know if that was necessarily because she was in Pentos. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's the case. I think she's just mourning and kind of angry. Yeah. Uh, but they do kind of get into uh, into Rhaenyra and Lanor's kids and just kind of how... Stop playing the fool. Yeah. You know what's up. Yeah. So they kind of play into that. But they also kind of knew it was going to be a sham marriage because they knew Lanor's tendencies prior, right? They did. But once again, like, you got to... It's just so fucked up for Rhaenyra because Lanor's not faithful. And he's getting his meets, uh, needs attended to, and but he has no worse. repercussion. He's worse, man. And he's man. worse, yes. He, he has no repercussions. Yeah. Right? Because he can't get pregnant and he can't say, oh, shit, this doesn't look like Rhaenyra. You know what I mean? It, but she can. He's also not like her dad's not the king. And on top of it, like, you, one can argue, well, then why did she even have a kid? Like, why did she even get pregnant by? by well, not that easy to just not get no, pregnant. No, no, no. But let's just leave that part aside. Um, she needs to. To she's also trying to fortify her claim to the throne, so she needs an heir. To be fair, they did say that they tried. They did, yes, multiple times. Which kind of remember I said in the last episode? I think they tried. I mean, it would be dumb not to. You would have to. But I feel like like we saw um in Game of Thrones where Marjorie and Renly and stuff. She's like, well, if you want to bring my brother and stuff, who knows if they did that? Ooh. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of brothers and uncles and all that just all so, over, but, you know. You know, it's still ill. You know, family relative for you to bone, family relative for you to bone, family relative for you to bone. No. You know? But so yeah, so they tried at least, but they're definitely like Corliss and Rain niece also are kind of like eh, Corliss is, doesn't want to believe it really. It almost seems like he doesn't care how he how his name stands, uh, yeah. How his name gets to be marked in history, as long as it's marked in history, right? Like, yeah. Um, history doesn't remember blood; it remembers names. Yeah, and, and so he he's not stupid. Neither of those two are stupid, but one of them just cares more about the whole legacy part, and the other one just cares more about the blood part. Like these are our kids; they're not happy. One of them died. She stayed away from us because of, you know, her husband and what he wanted to do. And now the other one is unhappy. So more like an actual mother, and she, which is very normal, right? Mothers usually have that. And she that also wants to, like, uh, have have a Lena's kids, like a true Valerian, mm-hmm. uh, inherit at least Driftmark, right? Like she, that's what she was saying, and he's like, "Well, how am I gonna bypass Lenor? And then after Lenor, it should should be Lenor's kids." Yeah, and that's kind of how their discussion comes about. Yeah. And he's like, "No, it has to go to Lenor's kids." And like, she's like, "Well, we both know, you know." And that's kind of how it comes about too. Yeah. So that's interesting. 
And it'll be interesting to see if their alliances change at this point. Like mm-hmm. right now, they have a stake, but we find out later. Mm-hmm. Maybe not so, not much. so much. Yeah. But then you know what? It may be because then with the whole Damon stuff and Rainier. Well, they have they have Targaryen grandkids now. Yeah. So I mean, you never know. They're still yeah. You it'll be interesting to see know. how that evolves. Um, but then we kind of get into uh, Rainier and Damon once again. Once again, reunited. Yeah. I and feel it like feels- Ross, the Ross and Rachel of. Uh, House of Dragon. I guess so, except they're related. It's like if Monica and I mean, Ross got together. Of course. But, you know, I was making a joke. <laughs> I know, but okay. I have to say, Monica and Ross. Yeah, Targaryens. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, will they? Won't they? The The question is always it's, there. It's interesting because they're walking on that same beach where Laner and Rhaenyra made their marriage pact. And now they're kind of talking about all the FOMO they've had throughout the years with like not being together. And and Rainier really wants to know if like he was actually in love with Lena. Yeah. And I think they they were to some extent, right? Like uh I do think that Damon liked uh Lena and I, I also think that Rainier I don't know if it was love or I don't think either of them were passionately in love with their significant others but with Harwin Strong I I there was something there they're they're both grieving at this time right because they don't have the, they don't have the person that for good or worse it was some sort of connection and now they're both gone yeah right? and I think with like just Damon's personality it was harder for him to admit to her that he did like love somebody else. Yeah. Even if it wasn't to the extent, right? Because they're like they their whole thing is like the one that got away energy. Yeah. You yeah. know? He doesn't admit things like that. Or the niece that got away. Okay. Right? <laughs> I like, guess so. Yeah, it happens, I guess. But then a big This is huge. So then they sleep each- with each other again. Oh, for the oh, first well, time. Oh, well for, for the, the first, first time. time. For the first time. Yeah, no uh you know, he doesn't need any anything there, no blue pills. I guess he's, not. He's just he's getting it in. Yeah. So yeah, so they bone and then in the midst of all of that, there's this whole thing happening with the kids, right? Major drama. Hella drama. Major drama. Amon. I always think you're Amon. just yeah you're like saying Jamaican it Amon? Sling, sling. Amon. let's just say Amon. Um, <laughs> he first off I, I'm very impressed with him I know you think he's an asshole or annoying or whatever uh, he's just so annoying but if he, he just know he plays the game well he knows his he he even tells Aegon like when he's he's uh, talking shit about his sister um, she's your future queen so we have nothing in common as I put it's it's your you know you know it's your duty. Well, then you marry her. And he was like, I would have, mom would have, like, uh, yeah, I would have done it for duty and it would uh, to fortify our family. And like, he's he's younger than Aegon and yet wiser and, and knows what needs to be done in these situations. Well, I also think it's because he's been second best that he's like, well, if I had the opportunity, well, if I had a dragon, well, if I, you know, yeah. like, and get it, I, I, I. Yeah. No, you're right. That that's um, no, but I mean like I like his I. But anyways, uh, yeah. So I think that's a little bit of that too. Um, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I just think he's so obnoxious. Like everyone's mourning, and I just I don't buy it that this kid like who was scared of a dream fire at the bottom of the pits, of like even touching a dragon and being like he wanted one. Yeah, but. I don't know. He just seemed like way wimpier before. And now all of a sudden he has the balls to like go and like be like, you know. Yeah, we discussed this while we were watching while we were watching. But I I also think that he's just growing more desperate. And he know that he's just, just just desperate to feel. But he just knows how to ride the dragon. No, obviously not. He almost fucking killed himself. He almost fell once, and then after that, he was like a pro, like pro NASCAR for dragons. Well, he's also Targaryen. So? They're, you know, they're known to be 
inclined to to do it and and I don't know if he did it well I, I he's also I think I think he was also very close to just falling off of it and dying but I don't know I just thought it was like it seemed easy for him yeah he almost fell but that was at the beginning after that he yeah. was like a pro he could land him he could swoop around yeah. and like I just think that was the little I get it it's not a real animal and it's like I'm reading too much into it but it was just a little obnoxious how yeah. this, you know but he, he I think he's he's going to be a major threat I well, think he's definitely be, well n- yes but also even if you see how he behaves like while his brother was drinking and getting drunk uh, he stood when he was just like shit faced um, by the steps, like he was standing watch, and the only the only person that went through was Otto, and Otto kicked him and was like, "Get the fuck up and yeah. go to bed." And after that, he takes him, uh, Aegon to bed, and that's when, yeah, Aemon goes to. I just, uh, I think Aemon's gonna be annoying. I think he's an annoying kid, and yeah, he's gonna be a major player. But so is Laris, and he's still annoying. Yeah, I guess so, but not in different in a different way. In a different way, but it also in a in a similar way. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, so then he rides Vagar, and he lands, I guess, smoothly and yeah, safely. Perfectly yeah, perfectly. Alley oops in there, and Jeff Gordon is he an NASCAR guy? Yeah. Um. I think so. I could have made that up, but that's yeah. all I can correlate it to. And then obviously, because he's like the biggest dragon out there, somebody hears him. One of the kids, um, one of Lena's kids. Yeah. Right. And then they wake up. They wake up. Um, what's his name? Um, Rhaenyra's kid. Jacques. Jack. Jacques. Jean Jacques? <laughs> no, Jace. They call him Jace. Uh, I think it's just Sarah's. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, they well, yeah, they're getting everybody up. They're like, hey, somebody stole Vagar, and then when they kind of go into the pit, it, they find out that it was actually, um, Eamon. And, and he comes go, in was, like, oh, ew. And, and like, then he yeah, goes like, yeah, it, it was, was me. me. And ew. then fucking Royal Rumble all of a sudden. Yeah, but yeah. he's coming in all like asshole energy like oh yeah maybe they should get you a pig just because like no. oh now that i have a dragon you guys get pigs like yeah he, there was no sympathy or empathy from him he, didn't learn. he was like oh i was just where you were i don't know 30 minutes ago i didn't have a dragon and he now was like oh yeah i have one now so i can be a fucking yeah and then he, he even says like oh yeah and then the other guy that you know you should burn you're gonna burn like your dad like Oh, you know, in hell, like whatever there. He's just being a hella major asshole. They get into a fight and it's a gnarly fight, right? Noses are broken. Girls are punched in the face. Well, she also punched them first. Yeah, but. And got him good. No, yeah, she got him good, but yeah. he just didn't even hesitate. Yeah, baby Beyonce Jr. Got yeah, him fucking it good. was. Yeah, it was gnarly. And then, you know, it, it was pretty bad. And then somebody pulls out a knife. One of Rhaenyra's kids. Yes. And then. Then does the um, the old sand in the eye trick. And then. Pocket sand. The old knife in the eye trick. And that's when the guards come in, of course. And then he ends up looking like fucking Quasimodo. Right? Because he's, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Because he slashes. The littlest kid, by the way, grabs the knife at the end. Mm-hmm. And then slashes his eye. Yeah. But. Where are. <laughs> Yeah, where are the guards? It almost seems fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid because everybody has their own individual guards. Yeah. So it's like as soon as as soon as Damon's kids woke up, somebody yeah. should have been there. Yeah, I guess there's no pedophiles back in, in those days or Ooh. in this world. And then their excuse later on is like, well, we us- he- they're both princes. We usually don't protect princes fighting for princes. Like, what does yeah. that mean? That was Kristen Cole, by the way. Like, that was Kristen Cole's answer. Like, that's a terrible answer. You think princes and princes aren't fighting each other? It's just so stupid. It's not a good excuse. And they weren't together to begin with. So that that whole... Exactly. I, Separate guards stupid. should have been there. So it's yeah. like multiple people fucked it up, right? Mm-hmm. And then Allison did, wasn't watching her no, kids and neither was Rhaenyra. Ex- yeah. Well, Rhaenyra was boning Damon. We all know that. Yeah. She was the worst one out of them. Yeah. And then... um. 
What the fuck is Corliss and Rhaenys? Well, they're they look they're they get a pass, right? Their they daughter get a pass, just but their daughter just died, and she, those aren't her kids to to be responsible for. But Allison saw this old my kids this well, my kids. They're that. not her kids. Mm. They're not their kids, but it's their home, right? And they I feel like they shouldn't even be sharing. Uh, a, well, but independent of. Of like that's true though. Damon also way too cool for this. For well, his kids got down. Oh, and he was just kind of like, <laughs> oh yeah, he's I was just, like, dude, yeah, they punched your fucking daughter in the face. Yeah, yet he was the only father that didn't give a shit out of the parents. He was just kind of like, he was like well, in the shadows too. I'm just over here. I and, don't care if my daughter yeah. got punched in the face by a guy. The only time he like did something was when Cole tried to get at like Rhaenyra or something yeah. and then he like grabbed him yeah but uh yeah because that's true like like it's it's uh Corliss and Rhaenys's like place and they should have independent guards yeah and then there's still the king's guards so there should be multiple people at yeah I think in, like if this was a real thing never would have happened no I don't think Aemon I don't think Aemon would have gotten to the um, dragon. Yeah. I don't think he never no. would have gotten near near, near Vagar. I don't think uh, uh, the the Targaryen girls, which you know, Damon's kids and and Corlys's granddaughters, would not be in that area with. The, I don't. I just don't buy it. No. But it it was a good. It's it was I, a good scene. It was a great scene because I think it's gonna set the tone. Well, for the future, yeah. right? We see a glimpse later, but we'll talk about that in a second. But it's it it sets the tone of how these kids are gonna, yeah, the separation. And Eamon's definitely gonna be a villain, like you can tell right off the bat. A good one too. Well, a bad, but a good one, right? Well, well, yes, but even in the way that he speaks, the things that he says are smart. Well, are cruel. They're all cruel. Well, Rhaenyra's kids were were the ones also tormenting them too. Let's, all they did was do a pig thing. That was more like that was more like little schoolyard kid. Correct, shit. But, but look, I'm I'm not on the green side. You like you're I'm a bastard, not... and your dad, you're gonna burn like your dad choking on flames. Yeah. To like a five year old. Yeah. I mean, like that's pretty. That's not like getting a little pig because you don't have a, you know, you don't have a, you don't have a Lamborghini. So it, I'm giving you a toy Lamborghini. Yeah. Like th- he's going to be a cruel dude. Like you can tell. Yeah, for sure. Um, But yeah. So then after that, we kind of get into, into like uh, all the parents find out, right? Because he's crying out. And then the King, King Guards, King's Guard finds him with like a slash die. Right. Yeah. And then it comes judgment day. Viserys has to, yeah, which then later <laughs> turns into a, a Westeros Maury show. Yeah, right? pretty like, much. Are you the father? Yeah, type of shit. Well, and then yeah, it, 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 there's definitely a separation for both sides, and Viserys is caught in the middle to where one of his sons. I mean, everyone's hurt. All, his son, his grandkids, everyone's bloody somehow. Yeah, it's not a good day for for the family, and no. Um, there's, they're still playing the game there, right? They're still playing the game there. What do I mean by that? I mean that here we have this huge fucking thing. People are walking in, right? Who walks in? What's the meaning of this? Colas walks in and then Rhaenyra walks in and she checks out after, uh, on her kids, which oh, too little, too late fucking, come on, man. And even in their physical placement, right? Like everybody's on their own side. Like it's divided by left and right, with mm-hmm. the greens being on the right, and it more than ever now, the mm-hmm. blacks being on one side, the the greens being on the other side, and you kind of like you're as you're watching it, you feel it in the air. And Rhaenyra takes her opportunity to go like, "All right, I'm gonna fuck." Okay. They only defend them themselves. They and then I don't even know how she found out that they called them bastards. Oh, she they, just got there. No, no, because they were like, like, what's going on? And then Eamon says, uh, Eamon says that she basically like that her kids like sliced his eye. And they said we were only defending like Damon's kids. And he called us bastards. 
And mm. then that's he. They said that right away mm. because Eamon blamed her kids. And then her kids were like, we were just defending her. He punched her. Mm. And and then like Annie called us called us bastards. So yeah. then that's how she knows. And then that's how the whole patronage right comes mm -hmm. into question. And then Rhaenyra takes that as an opportunity to 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 say, well, this is they responded because of this um, comment that they heard. They must have heard it from somebody. Oh yeah, Who was it's a it? kind of as looks we all right know. At, it looks right at Allison. Yeah, as we all pants. know, this is treason. And then of course, um, the trees are salad. Yeah, the the series goes up to his son and then he's asking him but then right there you see how much smarter he is he goes Aegon because he, he won't kill Aegon it's his son anybody else might be punished or executed that anybody else is his mom well also to get it off his plate like no he looked at his mom well, he's not gonna rat out his mom no because it's easier for Aegon not to be punished than his mom I don't think he would have killed Allison, but, you know, something m more drastic would have happened to Allison than a slap on the wrist that happened to Aegon. Well, absolutely. But I also think it was just kind of like, because uh, he could have said anything, like somebody else, like Kristen told him or somebody else, right? He could have said anything, but I also think he wanted Aegon to get it a little bit. Like they're in between their kind you, of rivalry. You did? I didn't think so. I, I didn't think so. so at all. I think he knew he was going to get it, but... Only to defend his mother. I thought, I mean, I thought in either case, he wasn't going to say Allison, but I thought it was like, let me just get this off my plate too. Um, yeah. But again, that's kind of how I saw it. And then Aegon kind of says, well, dude, like everybody knows. Yeah, he told his dad. He's like, hey, it's dude, gossip. come on, back like, off. Everybody knows, dude. Yeah, like it's not, it's common knowledge at this point. Yeah, but, and then obviously... The scene where Al Allison loses it, she loses her fucking cool. Well, but yeah. we see we see what she's capable of. Well, it was also because, you know, like uh, she saw how mad Viserys got at at people questioning her patronage, right? Like Rhaenyra's kids' patronage, and saying how anybody who says anything is gonna get their tongues cut out. And I, it frustrated her that it was so rash and there was no repercussions for Aegon's eye being <laughs> pulled out, right? Or Amon's, I'm sorry. Uh, and so, yeah, that's she snapped. She snapped at, like, the fact that she tried to get Kristen to ta do the eye for an eye things to demand Rhaenyra's kids. He would have done it, too, in a different scenario or under different circumstances. He would have fucking done it. He's an asshole. He would have done it if the... The king and his direct superior weren't there. Or all the important people in the kingdom, you know, just like watching. Well, because then he would have seemed like a, he would have seemed like a rat in front of them and he wants to be sneaky and be a rat behind them. Yeah. Right? Which is a smart thing. To do. Yeah. So then at that point, he basically denies her and says, like, well, I'm I'm only your sworn protector. Like, you know, she's like, you're sworn to me, but I'm your sworn protector. To protect you. Yeah, I'm so, I'm sworn to protect you. And that really sheds light on like yeah. the actual power kill, she I'm has. I'm not gonna take a fucking kid's eye for you and change your oil, dude. Calm the fuck down. Who do you think I am, Laris? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, he would. Yeah, but we we'll, wait and see. I feel like he would have yeah. done it. No, I think he would have done it, but in this circumstance, it was a smart thing to stand he down. He can't outwardly. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, that frustrates her, and then she loses it, grabs Viserys's knife, which is the knife the you know azora high knife mm -hmm. and like tries to basically go after rainier's kid and take the eye out him herself yeah right until rainier stops her yeah easy by the way yeah grabs her little ass wrist and like yeah yeah i i <laughs> we'll get to that later but um anyways then we see like otto and allison have a moment together and and he's like, there was slightly concern because it was a you know there was a lot of tension between her and Rhaenyra, and then just in, in the room itself, it was like there's a lot at stake. Well, Otto was also like proud of her. Well, that's what I was gonna get to. Yeah, yeah, that too. Which is like, uh, he's so gross. I could see why he would be proud because but in his eyes, he missed 
he hasn't seen her in all these at uh in all these years and now she's more like him well yeah like that's what i mean but he's all like all at first look at first i thought he did actually maybe care about the series to the point where he wanted he wanted the crown to an extent he mm -hmm. wanted to get to the throne but now you can kind of see more that that's his that's his number one priority yeah but so is cordless that's cordless's priority too and and there's in it's, a different not, way in a different way i don't think he would have but <laughs> like he was willing to take the last name and be cool with it and be like you know what it's fine like and what? on the other end you have freaking well, we don't know if he was actually going to be cool with it when that time when that time comes you know he he hasn't given indication that otherwise up until this point even arguing the kids lineage with Rainies, you know mm -hmm. behind closed doors he was still like well there are kids i can't disown them from this you know and i don't know i think it's just different otto is just so much like sneakier and like he's just you can tell that that's his number one interest it's not even his daughter really he didn't care if mysterious is going to be good to her or not yeah. or if she suffered throughout the years it doesn't seem like he tried to contact her like he was yeah. just like, ooh, I'm glad to see you got what it takes to get, you know, to the Iron Throne. And then his hair, he has like a terrible haircut. He's had a terrible haircut. It got worse. Ten years later, and it's all like. I felt like it was the same. He looks like um, like if you were to buzz cut one of those like baby dolls. Like just one of those dolls. like Which dolls? Just like those dolls at the store or like a Barbie. If you were to buzz cut a Barbie doll. That's what Otto looks like? That's what his hair looks like. It's bad. <laughs> no, I just want to buy one to do it. I don't know. I had a I... friend who did it. Yeah. She cuz her sister told her that her um her Barbies her Barbies were so hot during the summer that she was so mean, so she shaved their heads off and she thought that the hair would grow back, but then she just had a bin of just bald ass babies, <laughs> Barbies. Oh, yeah. So then they all Did this friend get help back in school or no, I. After that, I think she learned her lesson. And we're and back. we're back. Yeah, uh, technical so. difficulties, but we're okay. Um. Anyways, yes, he's proud of his daughter. Uh, for the wrong reasons, but yeah. <laughs> but you know what? He put her in that situation. Yeah, and he he's, put her in that situation, and she turned into what she needed to be. And you know what? She felt she feels bad about the things that she's. She feels bad about it, but soon that'll fade, right? Yeah, so she's she, she's gonna feel less bad, and she's gonna become more ruthless and cruel and calculating, and that and I. But also, Rhaenyra. Yeah, which Rhaenyra is not a saint either. Well, which we see in another. Yes, I think both of them. We kind of see that they're gonna do whatever they they need to do mm -hmm. to kind of make it to win between yeah. this battle between the blacks and the greens right yeah so uh, we see that later yeah where before laris is was her i mean she, she was discouraged by what she did in heron hall but now she kind of we see just a little clip um where that she would be capable of well making that order yes that will hey well i may need you like your services have not gonna gone unacknowledged and we may need each other in the mm -hmm. future so we kind of these allies that she's bringing in aren't necessarily uh they're they're more villainous right in the show so far they're willing to do things that are not you know not the most moral things in the most moral ways yes yeah. they're definitely uh, the story's taking or at least it's setting the foundation for the greens to be the antagonist i think i, I could be wrong I, I it's not, it seems like that. the lines are blur with these two <laughs> but if i had to pick like who at this point the writers are intending for the antagonist to be it would be the green yeah even, I, you know with Kristen being a dick mm -hmm. with the kids and harwin being you know he wasn't necessarily a dick but the on on allison's side they they killed the hand of the king already big player mm -hmm. they killed his his heir and and, and oldest son and also and you're his lover and father of her kids. They done done that already, and um, and even Allison now trying to herself 
you know, take the dagger yeah. to Rhaenyra's kid's eye. It's and also trying to manipulate Viserys, right, into uh, changing his heir. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot going on, and I think you're right. I think they're painting the Greens to be the more villainous ones, where they they want us to kind of root for the Targaryens and like, you know, Daemon and. Uh, That's what happens when you have a uh, weak king. He's I, so weak. But you know what? He grew up in a time that was prosperous. Yeah. And just keeping the peace. And but so did Aim- uh, so did Damon. And he wouldn't have been like that. Damon wasn't. Yeah. Well, there would have been war when Damon was there. Maybe. Damon but- also, I don't know if he would have been a good king. No, I, I'm not saying that he would have been a good one. I'm saying this one is weak. And you, you said it was because he grew up in a time where it was prosperous. I said, I don't think that I don't. I don't think that has anything to do well, with it, why he's like, so weak. I just, I'm just saying, like, what else do you... He hasn't needed to do anything. The people that are fighting are within his family. And I think it's hard for him to... His main priority is his family. So it's hard for him to make any crazy calls within his family. Again, firing Otto was easy for him to do. Was it that hard? He did it right away, without hesitation, after speaking with Rhaenyra. So I think it's just the fact that it's internal, that it's a struggle. He grew up in a prosperous time. His people seem to like him. Like, it's, I just don't think he had much to fight about. Mm-hmm. I mean, with things in the Stepstones, all he wanted to was to be happy and do whatever. He should have been more aggressive there. Um, but I think it's because he's inexperienced in war. And he says it himself. Maybe I should have done more. Maybe I should have been, gr- maybe I should have, uh, Maybe there should have been war so that I would have been this great ruler or warrior in this way. And then, you know, so I just think it's circumstantial. But but Jaharis didn't have war. That was the whole thing with Jaharis. It was, it was a peaceful time and prosperous. He's just Well, he gave him weak. that. Right? Yeah, he was like, here you go, dude. And then he's fucking it up. But I think it's his family fucking it up. It's not him. But it is him. I mean, yeah, he fucked up marrying Allison. He shouldn't have done that. Right. And he also fucked up by forcing his wife to keep trying. She could have been alive in Allison or Damon could have married and then they could have. Well, just... she seemed on board at the end. But yeah, just pick Rainier and get over it. Right. Um, but in either case, I mean, we kind of also get into uh, into kind of how of Rainier, like everything that happens post that with Rainier and um and Damon and kind of how Allison had her discussion with Otto and kind of what her future would look like. And that discussion, that that little tidbit with Laris, like now we kind of see Damon and Rainier having a similar conversation about what their future would look like and how there's obviously this big distinction internally between the families. Right. And there's going to be war. I think everybody knows that at this point. Yeah. And. It's getting closer every time. Yeah. Um, and they kind of talk about what their future is going to be like and and that they want to be together, but the only way to do that is if Lenor is not there. Yeah. It's a calculated move by Rhaenyra. I think she does have a thing for Damon, and I think Damon absolutely. has a thing for her. Yeah. But it's also the best move. Yeah, it's out in the fucking open. No, it it it's definitely been, is. It's been, and it's been even, and it just gets more amplified and more and more. And now it's just fuck. It was so awkward in there for her and her kids and everybody else. Just kind of witness. Not to mention, and Lena wasn't even there. Like per usual. Per usual, and he has a conversation with her too when she's like getting her her wound that Allison cut her up with. Like all stitched up, he's having he's he's trying to be like, well, I want to be the man that we had discussed I would be, and like mm-hmm. he's he's feeling remorseful about the, his decisions that he's made, how he's been so frivolous with his time. But yeah. I think ultimately, Rhaenyra talking with Damon knows that Lenor's not gonna cut it as her husband in this war, right? No, uh, no, he's also not gonna cut it to to keep her son's. Uh, legitimacy. <laughs> yeah. You got this. Yeah, legitimacy. Um, for the the throne. Um, everybody is whispering now. Those whispers have turned to just plain out talking about it in front of everybody. You're a bastard. You're not even his. 
Uh, you're not even his father. It's just out in the open now. And the only way she can maybe salvage some of this is by being married to somebody else. Well, marrying her uncle. Especially him, <laughs> yes. So she, well, even that, where I, I, we, I think we all know that she has a thing for him, but even that is like an, an added bonus to doing it. Like, oh, fuck, I have to do this to survive. And, and maybe even to save my kids' lives. It's, it's, you know, but she says it too. Like, this is only going to fortify my claim to the throne. Well, and even if you think about uh, him, her marrying, uh, marrying Damon also fortifies like Corliss and the Valerians because they have, he has kids, right? So it kind of, solidifies that alliance again you know in a more concrete way because they actually have kids together and then yep. after that the i mean they're gonna be heirs to everything yeah so it kind of fortifies that alliance also question just a quick side mm -hmm. note if you had to marry anybody in westeros man or woman who would it be who would i marry yeah um be a woman. <laughs> um, and I think I would marry... Elena, but she's dead. I was going to go for Elena, actually. I think Elena's a hottie. Yeah, I think Elena's a hottie. Yeah. Um, big dragon energy. Um, BDE. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm going to go with... Obviously, she's dead now, but if you take those... What about alive? Alive? Alice Allison's? Nah, she's not my type. I'm not Allison. I think I would go for. Hmm. There's. There's. there's I know it's, it's like slim, slim pickings. Slim pickings for yeah. As of now, um, like everybody has, they have their charm, but like as like oh yeah, blatantly like Daenerys is blatantly the hottest one on the other, on correct Game of Thrones, but in this yeah. one everybody has like interesting be beauty, right? But I would have been cool with like Missandei. Ascendi. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Everybody was pretty or like here that people look interesting or you know what I mean? Like because mm -hmm. Rhaenyra looks interesting and uh, Rhaenys also yeah, has like I a regal look. I definitely wouldn't have been cool with Sansa. Well, you hate Sansa. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, I know. I am like you. I know you hate Sansa. I'm like Arya, I felt weird about it because. I mean, a lot of those girls, like when we when I started watching the show, is like they were little kids. They're little. I was gonna say it's because she's it's so, little. It's so gross. Yeah. But then she became such a badass warrior. Like, it, yeah, it was but a different was she a hot? For her. Was no, she, she hot? Wasn't. I guess if she was you. like, no, she wasn't. Yeah, she wasn't hot to me either. But, but like, you, I, if I didn't pick, um, the son. Okay, so in the other series, I'd be obviously. Well, no, we're talking about this series. Okay, okay, the, so let's just forget that one. Let's stick to the hot D. Uh, this the one, hot sweaty D. I would pick uh, Lena first. Yeah, Lena's. I think the hottest. But she's dead now, so woman. yeah, you'd have it would be Bones. Mm, man, I I have to go with <laughs> Rhaenyra because I don't like Alice. I just can't. I think she's pretty. Right, she's not a. Uh, that's not what I said. No, but yeah, it just it's just like the vibe. Yeah. Uh, what about you with guys? With guys. Oh, gr oh, girls. No, I think um. Viserys. <laughs> Viserys is a cutie. I think he looks better now. So he's. Can we talk about that? For he a looks second? better now. How did he look way better at the beginning? At the beginning of the show. Well, the okay, the last episode six. If we take that episode. And we end it where it ended, right? Like, and the, how we look at the end of that show. He looked like shit. And then episode seven, all of a sudden, he fucking feels... He looks way better. Well... He got like a glow up. Look, he's cute, but he does look better now. There's a whole conspiracy about like... Which we might get into and do a video about. Um, let us know if you'd want, want something like that. But anyways, uh, that the Maesters... The previous maesters were part of Otto's, like under Otto's, like patronage or something, and that they were giving him, like, uh, they were basically like giving him all these weird treatments that weren't really working for him, and mm -hmm. then these new ones have been giving him upgraded ones that are actually working. So he might be looking a little better, but he's he was already bad to start with, right? 
So, man, I don't, I don't know. know. But I don't know how much that how much weight that holds because, well, we can talk talk about that later. But I mean, Harwin was okay. How about alive? Oh yeah, he's crispy now. Yeah, um, the ones we would want, I think, are <laughs> I dead. Think are dead. Yeah. Um. Damn. Uh, and even still, uh, you know what I would have liked to? I think uh, her and I would have been cool together. Oh. Um, Damon's first wife. Oh, oh yeah, she would talk back. She would talk back <laughs> to me. She would probably talk back. Uh, I'm gonna go with Corliss. Corliss. Huh? Yeah, he looks strong. Okay. And doesn't age. He's been no. He looks he's been great. thirty. He's been thirty five for the Tall. last twenty years. Yeah. So I'm gonna go Corliss. Okay. Yeah. Um. Good lands from a good family. Okay. Okay. Great hair. Right. I'll, so. I'll 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 stick with Rain Rainiera. Yeah. It's a solid choice. It's not the best. Well, she's she's pretty. She just looks interesting. That's what I'm saying. Everyone has interesting looks and not conventionally mm-hmm. hot. H a w t hot. They made it harder for us on this one, not you know, to be. Well, I don't think it's about that. And, and this, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not. Um. Uh, but yeah, we get into into like, uh, them kind of deciding that laner has got to go. That's the only way. But they trick us as a viewer. I definitely was like, oh, fuck, is, are, are they going to, you know, put a hit on, on Lenore? Yeah, because they start off this whole duel with, like, Damon recruits his lover. And they start off this whole duel in front of, like, this little servant boy yeah. leaves. And then we just see him burnt And by to the way, crisp. if you read the book Fire and Blood, they switched it up a little bit, which is, I like it. Yeah, that's what, that's what we were talking about, because right? Because it, it keeps you on your toes. Yeah, because I guess uh, the way the books are written are very much, like, uh, that that like they're retelling from the maesters or different people's not point of view because we don't really know what they are, but it's more like a history book. Mm-hmm. So that whole occurrence is written, but then they kind of yeah, give us that this, twist, right? They give you a twist where it's like, oh, shit, this I liked it. I was like, oh, yeah, they didn't kill him. They faked his death and that and was good enough. And they shaved his head off. And they shaved his head off. And, and that was good enough. Yeah, but because all he he the illusion of the death. All is he all wanted you need. was to be out at sea and like, like kind of do what he wanted. That's yeah. what he wanted. So I mean, and peepees all over him. I mean, that's he's a he he's a seaman. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, that's what he wants: seamen yeah. all over him. Yeah. So he so. it's it looks like he's about to get just what he wants. It works out for Rainier. It works out for him. Yeah. So they basically fake his death, and then he kind of he goes out to sea with his lover and just kind of leaves everything behind. His parents think he's dead. Rainy s- sees the burnt body and takes that as enough. And then that kind of leads into Damon and Rhaenyra mm-hmm. getting their Targaryen wedding ceremony. What would you think about that? The ceremony was a little creepy. It gave me, like, witchcraft energy. I liked it. Of course you did. <laughs> uh, and I knew that. You didn't have to say it. I was like, oh, she. when we were watching it together, I was like, oh, she fucking likes this. <laughs> I didn't dislike it, but it, if, it was not something that we've seen before um, in in either this show or the previous one, well, in the previous series. We didn't really have that many Targaryens. No, that's the whole thing, right? Yeah. But in this one, we see it. Uh, it's a little vi- vampire-y, so... Uh, it is a little culty. It is a little, like, witchcraft energy. They mm-hmm. Again, the whole thing is, like, that they're binding each other in blood because they would marry each other's kin. So mm-hmm. they, you know, cut their hands. They drink each other's blood. They bind, like, hand to palm, mm-hmm. cut to cut, all that hand, all that jazz. Hand and, to palm. <laughs> hand to palm, palm to hand. Yeah. Palm springs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so they do all that, and it looked it looked kind of cool. I thought with like the reds and the whites and like the the head no, it dresses. Looked, it looked it looked cool. Yeah. I just like it took me. I was just like, oh shit, that it was very good. pagan. Yeah, I guess we're cutting. They're cutting themselves now. But huh? it, it was interesting because I was thinking about like the red god, and then at the beginning, like the drowned god of like that the Greyjoys, and like yeah. I'm like they haven't really delved into that or discussed that at all but they mm-hmm. do talk about how they worship fire and all that stuff so a lot today i feel yes yeah, in, so s- in this week's episode i felt like they touched a lot on on fire and 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 then how they're meant to burn together yes yeah, so they're taking those steps 
I hope we get more of that because I, I think that's interesting. But yeah, so we have a new power couple in Westeros. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, I, I, I wanted to say this for a few weeks is that when John and Daenerys were a couple, for lack of a better term, <laughs> um, momentarily, and she wanted to, and he was like, ugh. I, when he found out it was his aunt, he was like, I don't know, man. This is fucking weird. And she was like, what? You know? Yeah. And I thought he was being such a little bitch. I was like, what are you doing, John? Just. Well, he's always been like. Everybody wanted like, John. Uh... This is the weird part, right? At least I don't know how people out there feel. But at least for me, I felt like, okay. When it was John and Daenerys, I was like, yes. All the way, yes. And I thought that their kid somehow was, was going to be a Sora High. High, the prince that was promised. Yeah. That's what I thought. You're like, right? I was promised a prince. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my prince? <laughs> and um, in this one, I don't, I like Damon, I, in Rhaenyra, I liked her better with the first part of it, but we'll wait and see how I feel about her later as the, the story develops. But, mm, I don't know. Like, it. Do, I don't feel it. Like, I don't. It doesn't feel the same. Oh, yeah, you're just not connected to like their relationship. I just as think much. it's icky. Oh, because I think it's because in this one, he's way older. And because they're and, uglier. And we don't get confirmation later until later. And like it again. There, he was just way older, and we saw there was no time jump in the other one. And this one, it was like she's, you know, fifteen. Well, they didn't see each other till like, and then it got for years. Yeah, that's why. I, you know how much of a big deal it was for fucking like, oh my god, John's gonna meet fucking Daenerys. It was so crazy. But when they, they met. were like the same age, so that's why. Yes, yeah, so they were the same age. It's but less they were, icky. They never. Yes, it's less icky that way. I guess. Yeah, there wasn't like, oh, I I saw you when you were fifteen, and I tried to bone you, and then it's like, oh, now you're a woman. Mm. Yeah, I think it's the time jump. I think that's why it feels maybe weirder. But it could be that. But, it could um, be that they're not as attractive. Uh, well, you're. No, it's true though, <laughs> because I don't think I'm the only one. I think it, I don't think they're like that much less attractive. I I didn't. I don't think they're horrible looking people. That's what I mean. Like it became such a thing with John being like a cutie pie, and so. Daenerys being super hot. I don't think he was that hot, but yeah, me neither. But you know, it's a, it's it's pretty it's out well, there i also just think it was like just because it was a long time coming in general that too the but, the whole anticipation of things but, in but i just case, think it's weird how if we take the people that have watched the first series and 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 saw them like kiss for the first time i was like oh hell yeah, yeah. and with them i was like Ugh. i think it's the and time it's so job. weird to me that i feel like that i understand I at least I know that I was like I'm also being weird. Like, come on, dude, you're being very you're being hypocritical yeah. here. Because with one couple, you were like, okay, hell yeah, and with the other one, you're like, yuck. And I'm still a yeah. little yuck on these. It's ones. I think it's the time jump, and because it's Probably. like, yeah, I think it's different, and because it's like the guy is the uncle instead of the the woman being the aunt, and like it's far farther away. It's far more removed, and again, we didn't uh, maybe see. Maybe it's a time. We didn't time see like little John. Image. We didn't a uh, little John, <laughs> but also we didn't like see Robin Hood? no like little John. Oh, but, like, oh, but yeah. like we didn't see like oh like yeah yeah. I, that was a really bad little yeah. John. That was, yeah, you didn't even try. <laughs> I didn't even try because I was like, yeah because it's gonna be yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah. Do, do it. You, try do, it. No, you try it. Why me? You're the one that said little John, but you're the one that wants it. I don't want it. I don't want it either. But you said it. <laughs> okay. That was. <laughs> it was still bad. But yeah, I, yeah, it was still. It was a little better. Okay. It looks, like little John. Let's a little just better. move on from this because uh -huh. I, I, you know, but anyways, yeah, I think that's why. But. I don't even know what you said before that. Oh, I keep thinking of that little, little John. John. That we didn't see little John and we saw little right near. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop saying little John now. I don't think you can. I really want to, but I'm going to stop. Okay, okay, so we see a clip of the next episode, Dumb. How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Another time jump. Oh, we saw yeah. another time jump. Yeah, and 
and Aegon. Allison's looks- kids are looking rough. Yeah. I think I like the look of uh, Aemon. I, he looks annoying, but I don't know. I, I think Aegon, not so much. Well, how did Aegon go? Like he looked Get shorter. Well, yeah. shorter and way less attractive. How did how did and I'm not saying that he was attractive before, but he just like he looked princely and now he looks like yeah. someone from Flea Bottom. I don't know. I, I like don't know how, who's casting these people. How does Amon look? I think they did good casting. You on think so? Rhaenyra and Allison. I think they this one though. Waynor was so bad. How did Amon look? How does Amon now look better with one eye than Aegon? Because he looks cool with the patch. You wear a patch for a week and tell me you're not. You're, you're gonna look a hundred percent cooler. I've seen people with patches. I'm saying you are. No, he's just no. He doesn't look that great either. He, I don't think he's adult version of him. I think adult version of him looks better. What I mean, do you mean in the today in in this week's episode? You thought he no, looked- no. I think that there. I've seen like a clip of like future him. I think and mm-hmm. like, I don't think it's the same one, but I could be wrong. Okay, we'll wait and see. But I think next week's episode we we get another time jump. Yeah, and I if Viserys is still alive. I, I hope it. so. Fingers crossed he's still alive. Ugh, he's um, just fucking everything up. But yeah, I guess I guess we'll wait and see. I'm excited for next episode. This episode I thought was really good. Yeah. Um, But I did act before we end our show. I did accidentally make too many shots. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go ahead and have to take those, I think. Okay, let's do it. All right. So we'll go ahead and... We'll catch you guys next episode. Yep. Make right. sure to like, subscribe, comment. You know what to do. And follow us on socials. Yeah. All right. And listen to us to, on the podcast. Oh, yeah. That too. All right. All right. Have See a good guys. one, everyone. Right. Bye-bye.